Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. Father, we thank you for your love, for your kindness, for your mercy, and for your grace. Father, we thank you for who you are, O oh God. You are King of kings, Lord of lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the end, and Father God. In the name of Jesus. Father God, right now I ask, oh God, that you will please forgive me of all of my sins and cleanse me with the redeeming, atoning blood of Jesus. Father God, right now I ask, oh God, that you will please forgive all the people I'm praying for right now, oh God, forgive them and their sins. Forgive, Father God, the sins in our bloodline. By the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we put on the whole armor right now that belongs to you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, I just come to pray, O oh God, for healing for the children, specifically, O oh God, we're lifting up Kendall, O oh God. Father, we're lifting up Kendall before your throne, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we come to the courts of heaven. Father God, we come to your throne of grace. Father God, we want justice. Justice, oh God, for the children. I pray, Father God, that you will heal her, Father. And I know Toy, even though she's an adult, Father, she's your daughter. She's your child. And so I lift her up and all of the prayer warriors who are sick in their bodies. I soak myself in the blood as I begin to pray. I soak them in the blood. I soak our households with the blood of Jesus. I soak our possessions with the blood of Jesus. And Father God, right now, like the persistent widow, Father, I come boldly seeking justice, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we are interceding for the children. Revelation 12 talks about the woman and the dragon. It says a great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. It says she was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous, enormous red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns on its heads. Its tail swept a third of the stars out of the sky and flung them to the earth. The dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour her child the moment he was born. She gave birth to a son, a male child, who will rule all the nations with an iron scepter. And her child was snatched up to God and to his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness to a place prepared for her by God, where she might be taken care of for 1,260 days. Then war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan who leads the whole world astray. He was hurled to the earth and his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah for the accuser of our brethren. The accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night has been hurled down. They triumph over him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. Therefore rejoice you heavens and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury because he knows that his time is short. And when the dragon saw that he had been hurled to, the, hurled to the earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. The woman was given the two wings 
of a great eagle so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of for a time, times and a half a time out of the serpent's reach. Then from his mouth, the serpent spewed water like a river to overtake the woman and to sweep her away with the, with the torrent. But the earth helped the woman by opening its mouth and swallowing the river that the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman and went off to wage war against the rest of her offspring. Those who keep God's commands and hold fast to the testimony of Jesus, that's who the dragon started attacking. And so, Father God, right now, I destroy the dragon, oh God, with the blood of Jesus. I destroy the dragon that's coming after the children and the saints and coming after the woman. Because, Father God, we, we are the door. We, give, we, 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 we open the door and give life, give birth, oh God. And so the enemy comes after us. Father, protect the women and protect our children, Father God. Father, protect the saints. Release right now, Father God, merciful King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, release the blood. Release your angels. Release the Holy Ghost. Release the fruit of the Spirit. Release, oh God, protection. We need, Father, warrior angels to be released right now, Father, as I lift up the children, as I lift up the saints, because we are your children. Father, I ask, oh God, that you will release all of heaven's weapon against the enemy. Destroy every curse, oh God, from us and bless us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father God, right now I bind every spirit of infirmity. I bind a strong man of infirmity, sickness and disease. I cast him out into the abyss using the keys of the kingdom. Father God, right now I bind any strong man, any demonic strong man that's been plaguing us. I bind and cast them out into the abyss. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, I lift up Kendall to you right now. I lift her up, Father. I ask that you would heal her body. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, I was looking up different facts about the blood cancers and leukemia. And Father God, I, right now I use the power and authority that Christ gave to me. And I command leukemia and every blood cancer, all types of cancer, all infirmity to bow at the name of Jesus. I bind and cast you out into the abyss in the name of Jesus. Father God, the blood is more powerful than any blood cancer. Father, release the blood of Jesus upon Kendall and upon our children. Soak them in the blood, oh God. Father, heal their bones. Heal their marrow, heal their blood, Father, right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name, Father God, protect their plasma cells. Father, protect our plasma cells. Protect our bones, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, heal our blood and our bloodline by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father God, heal our lymph nodes, oh God. Heal our parts of our bodies, oh God. Soak us in the blood where there's damage done to us, oh God. I ask, oh God, that you restore us in the name of Jesus. I come against every blood disorder. I command our blood to align with the blood of Jesus and the word of God. Right now, Father, we ask for a divine blood transfusion to take place right now in the name of Jesus. To take place in us, in Kendall, in Toy, in all of us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come to the blood bank of heaven. And we ask, oh God, that you will release the healing power upon us, oh God. Like the woman with the issue of blood. Father, we touch the hem of the garment of Jesus. And I decree and declare that we are healed from every infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I believe, Father, I expect healing, Father. By the stripes of Jesus, we are healed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come again. Father God, the Hodgkin lymphoma, whatever that is, I bind and cast it out into the abyss in the name of Jesus. It says every 10 minutes, someone in the U.S. dies from a blood cancer. Father, I bind a death angel. 
I bind every spirit that's coming at us that's not of you. I bind and cast them out. We shall not die but live to declare the works of the living God. I put the blood over our doorposts right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, heal our nerv nervous tissues. Touch Kendall right now. Touch her nervous tissue, Father, her kidney. Father God, touch the kidney, the liver, everything, oh God. Touch her heart, her bones, her skin, her hair, every part of her, oh Father. Restore, renew her. Renew her youth like the eagle, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, restore the years the worms ate up in her life, oh God. I pray this for Toa and all of us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Heal my husband as well, Father. Heal our children. Father, I thank you for doing it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Leukemia has to bow. Must bow at the name of Jesus. Bow now. Pick up your weapons and flee. Chained up, dropped into the abyss by the angel of the most high God. Father, I thank you. I thank you and I praise your name, Father, that we're making quantum leap progress in our health right now at superluminal speed, faster than the speed of light. Father, I thank you for showing me Hebrews 4.12. I release Hebrews 4.12 over Toy, over Kendall and all of us. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to divide in soul, spirit, joints, and marrow. Father, we ask, O oh God, that the blood will go down to the marrow, go down to the soul, the soul and spirit, Father, the joints, every part of us right now, Father, and judge anything in us that's not of you, any disease. Receive immediate judgment. And is bound and cast out into the abyss. Father God, let the blood begin to flow in our marrows, in our joints, in our spirits, in our souls. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stand on Hebrews 4.12. Hebrews 4.12. Hebrews 4.12. That's our birthright. It's manifested now. The word of God will not return back unto him void. It will not be returned back unto God void. But it will be accomplished. For the word of God is living. Oh, thank you, Father God. The word of God that I'm talking about right now is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing even to the dividing asunder. Father God, pierce every disease. Pierce it now, oh God, with your word. Jesus Christ is the living word. Christ Jesus is the living word. Father, I thank you and I praise your name. Hallelujah. The word of God is piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Father, I thank you for restoring us, renewing us, Father God, delivering us. The, the, the word is going to our joints now. It's in our joints. It's in our marrow. Oh God, I thank you and I praise your name. I praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God is quick. The word of God is quick. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, you're healing us swiftly. 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 It's alive. It's full of power. Father, I thank you. Can you show me? You show me the word seer. I mean, the seer prophets, they dream and they see things. But the, the, this translation of, of Hebrews 4.12 says, the Weymouth New Testament version says, for God's message is full of life and power and is keener, keener than the sharpest two-edged sword. And, and the seers are very keen. We have eagles, sight. And so, Father, I thank you that your word is locating anything in us, oh God, that needs to be repaired right now. And so I decree and declare that Kendall is healed, Toy is healed. Father, I thank you that your word right now is working now, is working. Your word is working right now in the name of Jesus. It's penetrating us right now. I thank you, Father God, that we are one with your word. We touch and agree with your word, Father God, and it will be fulfilled. Let your word explode beautifully, oh God, in us, oh God, and through healing. Through healing, oh God, in the name of Jesus.
in the name of Jesus. Let the high praises of God be in, in our mouths like a two-edged sword in our hands. Psalm 149, verse 6. Hallelujah. 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 We release the sword right now, the word of God. We release our praises. Second Chronicles 20 is our birthright. Father, I thank you that the battle belongs to you and you have fought it and you have won. Oh God, I thank you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hebrews 4.12 is our birthright. And I decree and I declare. Mark 9.23. If you said Jesus, it says everything is possible for one who believes. Father God, we believe you. We ask for miracle signs and wonders to manifest in Kendall's body, Toy's body, and all of us. Erica, everybody. Catchy, everybody. All the prayer warriors, oh God. We've been fasting and praying. The children. We ask, oh God, that you will do the impossible. Father, for the children. In the name of Jesus. That you will protect the children, according to Revelation 12. And protect the mothers. Father, I thank you for Luke 8, 50. Don't be afraid. Just believe and she will be healed. Father, I thank you that we are healed. And I ask, oh God, that you will heal the children of their broken hearts. Father, according to Psalm 147 and Isaiah 61, you heal the brokenhearted and you bind up their wounds. For all the children who have been disappointed, Father, heal their broken hearts for all of us. Heal our broken hearts, oh God, all of us. We need to be restored. Some of us, life has disappointed us, oh God. Broke our hearts. We need you, oh God, to give us new hearts. In the name of Jesus, give our children new hearts to serve you. Father God, strengthen Kendall's heart, Toy's heart, and those who are really going through. Strengthen their hearts. According to Psalm 27, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we stand on Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine. Father, release your joy. Remove all of the heavy garments. Father, all of the depression and sadness, remove them from, the, from our children, from Kendall, from Toy, all of us. And give us the oil of gladness, the garment of praise. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. I bind that every, every desert spirit, every spirit that's crushing, every crushing spirit. I bind and cast you out into the abyss. And I release joy upon us so that, Father God, we can have the good medicine. And, and one of the characteristics of the Holy Spirit is joy. A cheerful heart. Father, I thank you for a cheerful heart. We, don't, we no longer have a broken heart. We have a cheerful heart. And that is good medicine. Because a crushed spirit dries up the bones. I decree and I declare that our bones are no longer dried up. Our bones are flowing with the blood of Jesus. Our marrows are healthy. We are healthy. We are healed. In the name of Jesus. Father God, right now I stand on 2 Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Father, I thank you that we have already repented. We've humbled ourselves. I ask, oh God, that you release the spirit of humility upon us, the spirit of pray prayerfulness, that spirit, oh God, of hunger and thirst after righteousness, that, that, that spirit that makes us want to be holy when we turn from wickedness. Release, oh God, your spirit upon us. Because then you will hear from heaven. And you're hearing us now. And you have forgiven our sins, oh God, by the blood of Jesus. And you have healed our bodies. You have healed our families. In the name of Jesus. Because Christ Jesus was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. Father, I thank you that your word is being fulfilled right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Father, I ask that you will cause our white blood cells to become stronger because the white blood cells, Father, you created them to fight, to fight infections. Father, I thank you. And they're, they're supposed to be big. They're bigger than the red blood cells. Father, I ask for more white blood cells from heaven in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I, I pray, Father God, that you will give us healing. Healing where, where our white blood cells don't have to overwork itself anymore. Because if, when you're healthy, there is not a lot of white blood cells when you're healthy. It's more red blood cells. But when we get sick, the white blood cells, they increase to fight the illness. And so our bodies are fighting. And fight. but Father, you said a battle belongs to you. And our bodies, oh God, have been fighting these infections and these illnesses and the body is getting weary. So Father, I ask that you will remove the sickness, remove it completely, permanently, dismantle it. And that you will fight the battles for us. So that our bodies, oh God, could be restored and be replenished in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And I bind cancer spirits and cast them out. Father, we forgive everybody. I bind the bitterness spirit that's in the bloodline that's in us. I bind and cast them out. Father, we're walking in love. We're walking in forgiveness. We are totally surrendered to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And so cancer is any type of disease that is caused by out of control cell growth. And Father God, we want our blessings to be the only thing that's multiplying, not our cells. It says cancer is any type of disease that is caused by out of control cell growth. It's, it's when the cells are rebellious and out of control. Father, I command our bodies to surrender to you in obedience. I, I command our cells to bow at the name of Jesus and not be rebellious. I bind that spirit of rebellion and cast it out of ourselves. I command ourselves to obey the word of God by the stripes of Jesus. We are healed in the name of Jesus. And it says the abnormal cells, they divide and multiply and make tumors. I destroy these abnormal cells that's trying to divide and conquer trying to multiply and take over and causing tumors. I command every tumor to dry up with the blood of Jesus. I command you to burn to ashes with Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus. You will not spread in our bodies. You will not destroy our good cells and tissues. I block you with the blood of Jesus. I block you with the blood of Jesus. Your time is up. I release healing upon healing upon healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are no longer sick with diseases. We are healthy. We are restored. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It says when cancer starts, it begins when the genes in a cell that control cell growth are somehow changed or dangerously mutated. I come against every mutated spirit. I bind and cast you out into the abyss. Our cells will align with the word of God and will not change and, and, and become demonic. They will not fight against us. Our cells were created to bless us. Father, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, because Father, everything you made Everything you made, so I speak with the authority and power that you've given to me. I speak to ourselves. I speak to our genes. Line up with the word of God by the stripes of Jesus. Be made whole in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. And I praise your name, oh God, for answering this prayer. It says there are more than 200 types of cancer. I destroy every one of them with the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. 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 All over us. The blood of Jesus. 
all inside of us. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Father God, cover our food and our water with the blood. Anything that we consume, cover them with the blood of Jesus. Anything that we come into contact with, cover them in the blood. In the name of Jesus. 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 Cover our colon. Father, with the blood of Jesus. Cover our bones, our skin, pancreas, with the blood of Jesus. Father, cover our organs with the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. We are made whole. We are restored in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, send your word and heal us and rescue us from the grave. Psalm 107 verse 20 is manifested in the name of Jesus. Our bodies are strong and courageous. Father, I thank you for ourselves. That's been fighting to help us. Father, I thank you for this body that you gave us. It's the temple of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, oh God, for the miracles in our bodies in the name of Jesus. Our bodies will not be afraid. Will not be afraid or terrified because of any cancer, any disease. Because we don't have a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And Father, you promise to go with us wherever. Wherever we go, you promise to be there with us. You say you would never leave us nor forsake us. Your spirit is inside of us, oh God. I ask for healing to flow inside our bodies. Father, you promise never to leave us nor forsake us, oh God. Go where Kendall is right now, oh God, by your spirit. By your spirit, Father. Not by power, nor by might, but by your spirit, Father. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. We are strong and courageous and healthy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Isaiah 38, 16, 16 to 17. Lord, by such things people live and my spirit finds life in them too. You restore me to help and let me live and let me live. Father, thank you for delivering us from the pit of destruction. We are delivered. We are delivered. We are delivered. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for hearing my prayer. Thank you for answering me swiftly, O oh God, at superluminal speed. Faster than the speed of light. Hebrews 4.12 is being made manifest. The sharper than a two-edged sword is going all throughout our bodies right now so that our bodies can align with the word of God. And every dragon is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. And we are protected. We have our strong wing, wings. Father, you said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Revelation 12, the, the woman was given two wings of a great eagle and she was able to fly to the place you prepared for her oh God to be protected I destroy every serpent that's coming against us every leviathan every marine spirit I bind and cast you out into the abyss I decree and I declare that we overcome every sickness by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony Father we are your end time warriors we are your battle axe your battering ram Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. We fight the good fight of faith by believing. All you require, oh God, is for us to believe. We believe your report by the stripes of Jesus. We are healed. Our bodies receive healing now in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you and I praise your name that the son of righteousness, oh God, is, has risen with healing and is raised. And we are leaping with, with healing, Father. We're leaping with healing. Malachi 4.2. The son of righteousness, Jesus Christ, 
is upon us and within us. Father, I thank you. I thank you. Things that we don't even know about that's in our body that's working against us. Oh, God, healed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, your spirit, the spirit of the sovereign Lord God is upon me to set the captives free, the anointing of God, destroy every sickness, every disease. I speak perfect healing to my husband, perfect healing to our children, perfect healing to Kendall, Toy, Erica, Danielle, perfect healing to everybody who's following this ministry in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. And I seal this prayer with the blood. And there will be no backlash or retaliation of the devil. Psalm 91 is our portion. Psalm 91 is our birthright. Psalm 91 is our inheritance. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God will be healed. Because the plagues cannot come near us. And Father, whatever, whatever we stand in need of today, I pray, dear God, that you will meet every need at quantum leap speed, Father God. Father, I thank you. I thank you in advance for the praise report that's coming forth. Affliction will not arise a second time. Affliction, Father God, let me get your word. Let me get your word. Nahum, let me get your word. Let me get your word. Affliction, the, the affliction that was coming upon us, whatever, whatever it was, sickness, poverty, whatever, bound and cast out into the abyss. Nahum 1.9, it says, affliction will not rise up the second time. Affliction shall not rise up the second time. Father, you promise in your word. And I pray, dear God, that the sickness will not come back ever in our bloodline. It will not come back. It will not come back. It will not come back. And I just hear, heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. I just hear, heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Father, let me read that. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. For you are the one I praise. I thank you. Father, you said no good thing will you withhold from us. No good thing. No good thing will you withhold from us. From your treasury, Father, release healing. Let your strong wind blow healing upon us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yahweh, Yahweh Rapha is our healer. Yahweh Rapha. Father, Psalm 8 is the portion of for our children. Psalm 8, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be blessed, victorious ones. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Good report, locate us now. Good report, locate us now. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask that you will meet the needs that I have. Father, in the name of Jesus. And you know what they are. And Father, I touch and agree with your word that you will supply all of my needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you. I thank you for providing. Amen.